Good morning. It's Friday, May 14th. Been watching Top Story for a while. Make sure that you like and subscribe below. Today's full World Watch covers a lot of territory. As we pedal into summer, a new development in tires may have you saying goodbye to your air pump. And with many zoos shut down last year, there's been a baby boom around the globe. Now, this is Top Story. A political squabble among Republican members of Congress broke into the open this week as Republicans voted overwhelmingly to remove one of their own from leadership. Liz Cheney, daughter of former Vice President Dick Cheney, lost her position as leader of what's known as a Republican Conference. That's an official party organization in the House of Representatives that crafts Republican public relations messaging. This is simply who's best at delivering the message. That's all. Congresswoman Cheney has continued to attack former President Trump since he left office. And even after losing the conference chair position, she told reporters her goal is to ensure Trump never returns to the White House. We cannot be dragged backward uh, by uh, the very dangerous lies of a former president. She said she didn't consider the vote to remove her a betrayal, but she did accuse Republican leaders of believing what she called the big lie that the presidential election was illegitimate. Leader McCarthy, emerging from a White House meeting with President Biden, responded that Cheney's comments were wrong. But I don't think anybody is questioning the legitimacy of the presidential election. I think that is all over with. We're sitting here with the president today. Congresswoman Elise Stefanik of New York is Cheney's likely successor in the job. Subscribe to our full program and don't miss a thing. Just go to worldwatch.news. And remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand.